Big flyer signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Big Cat Wave. Welcome, or welcome back to Frequency Phoenix 555 for your next 48 hours. As you kick your way into the next 48 hours, we have a new moon in Taurus. Time to start organizing your plans to manifest your material desires. Success will not happen overnight. Mars in Cancer sextiles Uranus in Taurus, which brings what? Gifts of inspiration, motivation, and determination. You also have Jupiter in Aries until the 28th of October. Mm -hmm. This will, um, this lets you know that you must expect things to shift in an unexpected way. Mm -hmm. Jupiter, Jupiter transits always come with luck. Good luck in one form or another. Let's dive in, darling dears. Let's dive in. Ooh. Want an overall ancestral message. One card, please. One card, please. Thank you. I've got secrets, darling dear. A secret that was not meant to be told is about to be revealed. And it also speaks about what? Somebody's been journaling. It also speaks about a contract as well, darling dear. Somebody will be signing a contract over the next 48 hours or releasing themselves from a contract due to a secret they thought or they thunk was never going to be told. Mm -hmm. Base of the deck, darling dear, you in your element, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, being impassioned, inspired, and it also speaks about movement, darling dear. From the ashes, a new beginning for you. We also have what? The Ace of Cups, the Cup of Love, and it's also my multiple streams of income. Why? The Ace of Cups is about your creativity, darling dear. It also speaks about what? You're going to be, someone's going to be finding out about a hidden pregnancy. A lot of skullduggery is going to be on the tableau over the next 48 hours. Let's get a, a runestone that fell right into my lap and it's the Polo Santo. Good golly and gosh, we've got Taiwas justice on its face. This speaks about strife and war and somebody who's what? A dummy bat and stupid. Somebody who is dull-eyed and feeble-minded. This speaks about what? Somebody who was unjust to you, darling dear. You're going to be hearing about them, darling dear. Mm -hmm. What's going on with them? Justice, Ty was, is represented by the letter T. The numbers 44, 45, 46 and 47. Mm -hmm. It also speaks about dishonesty as well as the karmas, darling dear. Somebody's going through karmas. You're going to hear about it. A season of resolution, eh? Pass that energy around the big cat fire signs. Four of cups. In the reverse, cancer as well as moon energy. This is about you, what? Completely having freed yourself from emotional turmoil. Mm hmm. It also speaks about what? Leaving a situation behind, no longer regretting moving away from a situation in the past, a situation where there was a lot of injustice. It also speaks about the ending of a major, major relationship in your life, whether, whether business or romance, darling, India. Clarifying the Four of Cups. As you let go of that situation in the past, your luck changed, darling dear. This is a new home, a new car, a new business, a return to your mental health. Whatever um, abundance means to you, you found stability mm -hmm. in your routines. Being methodical, planning out what your future was going to be without things that were what emotionally draining. Mm -hmm. The Palace of Pentacles also speaks about you, what? Having um, a more secure 
outlook on life having what brought together as a more stable foundation it also speaks about you being the king of king king or queen of your castle the frog speaks about oh, maybe you kissed many frogs to get to this situation or had to overcome we're also seeing a stag for a new beginning mating season darling dear mating season this is about emotionally removing yourself from a situation in the past finding a something more stable something more tangible present energy around the big cat fire signs good gosh you've got those bad ass alchemist ways this is about being gifted with all of the tools to co-create whatever you want some of you are planning a travel and it also speaks about what your 10th cup emotional fulfillment darling india you've manifested that in your life over the next 48 hours what's this yes palace of cups again emotional fulfillment you're feeling karma Mm, not karma, but I mean calm, more peaceful. Find Found your balance and equilibrium. This also speaks about your imagination, darling dear. It seems like whatever you imagine, what you believe, conceive, you shall achieve over the next 48 hours, having those badass alchemist ways. The magician is, is highly intelligent, intelligent. This is about... Um, manifestation in your willpower darling dear your willpower something you've brought into existence that is going to give you emotional fulfillment seeing pisces energy as well as cancer and scorpio attitudes of others as you step into this more abundant season Mm. Codependent, darling, dear. Not liking where you are in this moment in time. Somebody doesn't like the fact that you've managed to boss up on them. You managed to manifest what? Emotional, emotional wealth, a stable foundation, and the fact that you're not amongst the many. You've got quite a few people that are hating on you at this. They hate your eyelashes. They hate you. Why? Why is their attitude so negative towards? My big cat fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Because you're the Empress. You're abundant, darling dear, I told you. This is a new beginning. Some of you are pregnant, congratulations. This also speaks to the, preg the pregnancy of infinite possibilities, knowing your worth, and it's also harvest season for you. People are seeing that you're bossing up, darling dear, and you no longer have passion for them. Mm -hmm. These are people that you no longer talk with, no longer eat with, no longer drink with, darling dear. Mm -hmm. The ones in the reverse also speaks about, oh, somebody's pregnant at this moment in time, they're going to find out that they've got some form of STD, their partner's been with many darling dears, go and check yourself up and protect your baby, whoa, but you're manifesting a situation, right, despite the odds, despite all of the hate, the negative thoughts, the words and the gossip, the slander, everything's at your back. What you need to pay attention to over the next 48 hours. Thank you. Mm. The new perspective. Anybody trying to put delays in your life, darling, dear. The hangman is also about no longer sacrificing yourself, giving back the wood, right? Especially to those that are emotionally draining. The Queen of Cups is a disloyal partner whether male or female, somebody who brought delays in your life. This also speaks about, because the hangman also speaks about imprisonment. Somebody may be even be calling for a what? This injustice to be resolved in the courts, darling dear. Mm -hmm. Knight of Cups. This also speaks about somebody coming in to offer you something. What are they going to offer you? They, them and um. The Queen of Cups is somebody who's extremely jealous. Mm -hmm. bitter and they're going through a, a season of depression somebody from the past would like to come back and we are in mercury retrograde good god mac the knife to finish you off eh take the rest of your hairline eh somebody who diseased you darling yeah possibly while pregnant or you as the mother of their child mm -hmm. Pay attention to people from the past wanting to come back and cause delays in your life. They come with a full tongue and an agenda. And they are bitter, being jealous, darling. They are jealous. 
Mm-hmm. Jealousy can kill. Remember I told you that. Final outcome. Three of Cups in, in the reverse and the Ace of Cups in the reverse. Knight of Wands in the reverse. Whomsoever this in and out energy that would love to come in and out of your life, darling dear. Again, we see what? The Four of Cups. You see it? Three here, one there. We started out with the Four of Cups in reverse. It's still in reverse. This is about you not giving emotional energy to those that kept you stuck in and out energy. This is also somebody who could be, what, a dick dealing mattress back, animal in a kitten hill. And what a village idiot. Someone you gave back to the village. Mm -hmm. This person will come with fake love straight up to your face. This person is still involved in codependent situations. This person is going through a season of what? Um, lack feeling stuck looking for direction this feeling this person feels as though they're going through some form of injustice in their life at this moment in time but it's what just desserts darling their transformation season the death of one situation in order for another to be born mm -hmm. continue to be strong for your new transformation darling dear. this backstabber is in spiritual prison at this moment in time thinking about you all they can think about is what they did and what they can do to change the situation this person has been trapped and it also speaks about what somebody definitely going to prison right because of whatever they they've done to someone else i mean physically we see the ace of ones in the reverse this is an std a serious case is about to be bought against someone where you're going to have to be strong darling dear mm -hmm. in the face of adversity because what you truly deserve is coming towards you Moving away from this what? Palace of Wands on its face. A palace of lies. Built on what? Quicksand. As lightning was about to strike it, darling dear. This is an unholy, unhealthy situation that you're moving away from. Let's get some final messages. Yeah, you've got a lot. I told you. They hate your guts. If they hate you, you nine them, darling dear. Hermit energy all day, every day. We've also got generational curses. You're about to remove some generational curses. We've got the Gemini energy, the third house. This is about your communication, your logic, your understanding, the way you think. It's got you out of a situation. Crown chakra speaks about the downloads that you've been getting. It also We also have what? A new level. This is why they hated on you, bossing up. We saw the, um, the Palace of Pentacles, darling dear. And what's this? Somebody's about to be signing the contract or the breaking of the contract with the generational curse. We've also got a health check. I told you somebody's going to be going to court once they discover what's been put into their pantaloon. And we've got the 11th house. Mm -hmm. The 11th house is about what? Your friends. Yeah. It's about social awareness. Mm -hmm. It's also about your hopes and your wishes, darling dear, as well as technology. You know, somebody will be finding out something on the internet or will be signing a contract over the internet over the next 48 hours. Mm. We've also got bait and a trap and a mask. You've got a mask marauder, a lying liar coming towards you, darling dear. Devil energy. Somebody who's codependent, they've got a lot of um, addictions. This person is also highly controlling. Tell me some more about this devil energy, Capricorn energy. This person is addictive and has addictive behavior. You've got communication. They're going to try and communicate you, communicate with you over the next 48 hours. But it's a trap, darling. Yeah. It's a trap, right? Fake, smoke and mirrors. Use your intuition and your discernment. You will always be attacked just before you are blessed and your level is raised. Remember, new level, new devil. They're going to be repurposed just for you, darling dear. Somebody or someone's you left behind. And they lead with betrayal, treachery, treason and heartbreak. Mm -hmm. Split the deck. The secrets that they're trying to keep, darling dear. The secrets, you can see in reverse. Once you use your intuition and your discernment, it will be an open book for you. On that note, I dropped me mic. Toddle over to my Teesprings, toddle over to my Patreon, or simply come back here. And as I always say, don't get smoked. 
Don't smoke yourself. From the ashes, baby. Namaste. Cat, cat. Cat, cat.